Welcome to our Meshtastic Lilygo T-Beam version 1.1 web firmware install and configuration tutorial. This is the recommended method for any first time users. So let's get started. Before powering on or plugging in your T-Beam, it is important to make sure your antenna is securely attached to the device. Failure to do so could cause damage to the T-Beam's radio chip. After you have ensured your antenna is properly attached, plug your T-Beam into your computer using a data-enabled USB cable. Most T-Beams come preloaded with a version of Meshtastic. You will be able to see what version yours is running at the first splash screen in the top right corner as it is booting up. Once the device is booted up, open Device Manager by either pressing the Windows key and X at the same time, or right-clicking the Windows Start icon and then selecting Device Manager. Device Manager will allow us to see what port the T-Beam has populated on by clicking the drop-down arrow on Ports, COM, and LPT. In this case, ours is on COM5. If there are multiple devices under ports, simply unplug and replug the T-Beam to see which one disappears and reappears. If your computer is not recognizing the device, you may need to install the drivers. There will be a link below for that. If you are already on Rockland's homepage, you can navigate to Meshtastic's site by clicking either the Meshtastic graphic or the Meshtastic and Lilygo tab. After that, click the Meshtastic link as pictured. We will also have links below for all the relevant URLs in this tutorial. Once you have reached the Meshtastic homepage, click the Get Started button. Next, click the Flash Firmware tab. The T-Beam is a ESP32 device, so we are going to want to click there. Then click on the web-based installer. And click on or open flasher.meshtastic.org in a new tab. In the web installer, select your device as T-Beam. The firmware version is going to be user preference, but we suggest using one of the latest betas. Then choose whether to update the device or wipe and reinstall. I am going to choose wipe and reinstall for a fresh start. Next click connect and select the serial port the T-Beam has populated on. Don't worry if you forgot, you can always reopen device manager and verify. Once the device dashboard opens, click Install T-Beam and then Install. From here it will wipe the device and start installing the new firmware. Make sure the device is in a safe area and do not unplug it during this process as it may corrupt the firmware. This process will take a few minutes. Once it is finished, the web installer will say Installation Complete, and the T-Beam's display will show a splash screen with the new firmware in the top right corner. Click Next. In the device dashboard, you can also view Logs and Console, where it will give you the option to download the logs or reset your device. Now we can head back over to the Meshtastic page and click Connect and Configure Device. Then under the Bluetooth tab, select Web Client. Once you're in the Web Client, click the New Connection button, and then select Bluetooth tab. We suggest using Bluetooth as it seemed to be the most smooth of the three options. Then click the New Device button. Make sure your computer's Bluetooth is turned on. As you can see, I forgot and had to go back and turn it on. Then select the Meshtastic device you want to pair. The name of the device should be displayed on the T-Beam screen. Then in the web client underneath the Bluetooth tab, click on the name of your T-Beam device. The T-Beam will then display a six digit pin that we will need to type into the web client. Click OK. Wait a few seconds for the device to pair and for the web client to load in. Then you can X out of the connect a new device box. On the dashboard you will be able to see and send messages, view the map, channels, and more. The first thing we are going to want to do is click on config.
In Device Config, there will be multiple tabs where you can adjust settings for the device. The Position, Power, Network, Display, LoRa, and Bluetooth. The first setting you will want to adjust is under the LoRa tab. In the region area, select the region you will be operating the device from, as the unlicensed frequencies are different depending on the region. In our case, we are in the United States on the 915 MHz band. Once you have adjusted your preferred settings, click the Save icon in the top right corner. The T-Beam will then reboot, loading all of the configurations. After rebooting, you can continue adding devices in your web client or start sending messages. Thank you for watching our MeshTastic Lilligo T-Beam version 1.1 web firmware install and configuration tutorial. Remember to like and subscribe for future tutorials. Also, make sure to check out our web store for more MeshTastic Lilligo devices.